Hey guys, welcome to another video for the K20 Pro known as Rafael or Rafael In. Now we are talking about Awaken OS once again, but this time it is very, very significant because this ROM has received a lot of updates. I installed it yesterday along with a couple of my elite testers who've also tested this ROM and the dev himself is in our testing group. So we do get the time to give him the feedback and share the details with him and he shares his insights about the rom as well so before we get into the details if you like watching custom rom stuff every single day please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really really motivates us to bring amazing content to you guys if you like chatting with like-minded people please join us on telegram instagram facebook and twitter we have a lot of followers there and you can connect with like-minded people and have your knowledge expanded last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash. let's get going Now, Project Awaken 2.1 Luna Unofficial Android 12 updated on the 7th of November 2021. This is the G apps version and let's have a look at the change log. Now, trust me, it's going to be a long one. Right. So now just have a look. These are the amount of changes and fixes these guys have done. I know it's a long list, but let me quickly read this out to you because you know, when you watch this particular ROM review, these things might not be covered because these are not features. These are fixes which might matter to you in day to day usage. So it says update incoming release 7th November 2021, November security patch, Awaken 2.1, refer to ROM source change log on Telegram, SE Linux, is enforcing that is good since the build is enforcing safety net should pass without magisk now which is amazing switch to pixel 6 pro g apps and pp utilities look out for pixel 6 exclusive features now that is something i've not tried yet probably in the next review i'm going to share those details switch to pixel 6 pro build fingerprint and desc reduce status bar height you all might want to increase the dpi to 420 in developer options correct rounded corner radius fixed zip rename that's okay address additional se se linux denials add props for 4k playback on youtube fix live caption improved app opening speed fix screen recorder lag so that is neat added a few more g apps removed a few and switched to Arnova Gcam, probably fixed an issue where users with images would have recovery stuck, fixed download manager crashes, was ROM side issue, now no, no more crashes, removed some useless stuff, a lot more I can't remember at the moment. Now trust me, that for a ROM which has just gotten onto Android 12 is a lot of changes and that really really shows in this particular build. Now the moment you boot into this particular ROM as always you have your usual set of icons, bigger ones compared to other ROMs over here. You have your Google search bar at the bottom with the pill, the gesture pill at the bottom working like a charm. Now just see the multitasking over here. This is a 60 hertz device with a Snapdragon 855. We are talking about a device which is more than two years old. You have the assistant shortcuts over here. They work absolutely fine. And as they mentioned, this is a Gcam, a full fledged Gcam, which is included in this particular ROM. So we will talk about that in a bit later. But if you talk about the applications, you will notice it doesn't really come with a lot of bloatware, but it does come with a few Pixel 6 based G apps, which should give you access to Pixel 6 Pro features, which is really, really neat. Now to the left, of course, you do have the Google feed, which works smooth as butter. So, you know, from a ROM that has just gotten Android 12 to a ROM that you can probably use it as a daily driver without the need of hunting for a Gcam or scratching your head of how to get ANX camera working on Android 12, this is a full-fledged option that you should consider. Now, from the top to bottom, you have your quick tiles of Android 12. You have the reboot menu over here and you have the option to edit the tiles which will give you access to your privacy tiles extra dim caffeine ambient display screenshot there you go the moment you click on it these things get added now they did mention that they have fixed the screen recorder so you can record internal and external audio and hit the start button the moment you do that as you can see now the reason you don't see the status bar over here is because the dpi is incorrect so if you go to display if you go to display size, there you go. The moment you do that, the status bar at the top is visible and I cannot see any lag while the screen recorder is active. So let's go ahead and stop this. It's processing, it is processed. Display. If you go to display 
this size. There you go. Move As you can see, back. so the screen recorder is working absolutely fine. There are no issues as such with the screen recorder. And trust me, this build is really, really butter smooth. Now, the moment you press and hold over here, you will get home settings. So let's go to home settings. I'm pretty sure this is a Pixel launcher or the Pixel 6 Pro launcher. I'm not sure if they've incorporated that. Moving on, if you talk about the widgets, you do have your standard Android 12 widgets over here, which look great and they work really, really well. If you talk about the clock, you do have your Android 12 clock over here. Uh, I like this one better. As you can see, it works really, really well and looks pretty beautiful as well. Now, apart from this, if you actually go to wallpaper in style, you do have your Monet UI in action. Let's, let's see, let's go to curated culture over here and let's go all purple with this one. And you can go ahead and set it to home screen and lock screen. Once again, you need to enable themed icons. As you can see over here, the whole UI looks so beautiful with this Monet theming system. Trust me, it makes me wanna try Android 12 on almost all my devices and that is what we are doing these days, right? So moving on, the UI customization is brilliant. The ROM is extremely smooth and it works really, really well. It doesn't really boot with a lot of bloatware. It does have Gcam pre-installed. Let's go to settings over here. Now, you still don't have a dedicated customization menu. I don't really think Awaken ever had a dedicated customization menu. So you have network and internet, which is your typical Android 12 stuff. And even in the settings menu, you will see that this white background has a very, very light hint of purple, which is Monet UI in action. Now under battery, you do have thermal profiles, which gives you access to the gaming mode, which gives you access to 180 Hz touch sampling rate. Now, for some reason, this UI is still transparent. I really don't know why. I really hope they fix it soon. So let's go back over here. So you do get thermal profiles and I've been using it. It's working absolutely fine. I've been on battery for almost 18 hours. The phone was idle for a long time. And if you talk about the screen on time, it's not much, but we are still at 63%, which is a really, really good sign. Now the fast charging in this particular build is much, much better compared to the previous build. So the fast charging is much faster as you know, stated earlier as well. Under sound, you do have the direct sound enhancer with hi-fi and all the other things which work absolutely okay. Apart from this, you just have your usual Android 12 stuff which works absolutely okay. One thing that is worth mentioning over here is that the fingerprint scanner is absolutely beautiful. It works really, really well, even in low light, even after extended periods, the fingerprint scanner on this particular ROM works really great and it does wonders. Now let's go ahead and quickly talk about the benchmark numbers. So the first thing that we'll talk about is the CPU throttle test. Now, as you can see, average score of 175, 405 GIPS, the CPU throttle to 94% of its max performance, no yellow or reds there, which is always a good sign. If you further go to Geekbench over here and you go to the ROM score, there is 740 single core and 2559 multi-core, a very decent score. And unfortunately, as always, Antutu did not run on this particular build. So it's an Antutu problem, not exactly a ROM problem. So while using the ROM as well, you get beautiful app icon animations. You don't really have the device hitting up a lot. I did try gaming and the gaming was pretty decent as well. So now you do have ROMs like these, which are based on Android 12. They come with almost all the Android 12 goodies. You can use the, them with your banking applications, good camera application for taking pictures and you can game as well. And this does last pretty decent as terms in terms of battery backup and it charges fast as well. So Awaken OS in this particular update is something you can definitely give it a try, flash it, use it for a couple of days, come back to the comment section and let me know what were your thoughts about this particular ROM. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.